system. This will be a series of videos in which we'll explain how to make the ER, EER, schema, SQL queries and normalization. Our team members include Bhavya Pal, Dimple, Harshita Mahori and Abhinav Saini. Following is the case study and this case study has been taken from Ramakrishnan DBMS book 2nd edition. In this video, I'm going to tell you what is this case study about and how to draw its ER diagram. Computer Science Department frequent flyers have been complaining to the country airport officials about the poor organization. So as a result, the official has decided that all the airport information should be organized using a DBMS and so they have hired you to design their database. The relevant information is as follows. Every airplane has a registration number, airport ID and is of a specific model. The airport has name, airport ID and accommodates the number of airplane models. And each model is identified by a model number, capacity and weight. A number of technicians will work at the airport and for that you have to store the name, SSN, address, type, phone number and salary. Each technician is an expert in one or more train models and their expertise may overlap with the expertise of other technicians. Traffic controllers must have an annual medical examination and for that you have to store the name and the date of their most recent exam. All the airport employees including the technician will belong to a union. So you must store the union membership number of each and every employee and you can assume that the employee is uniquely identified by the social security number that is SSN. The airport has a number of tests and for that you have to store the FAA test number, name, model number and maximum possible score. Airplane is tested by a given technician using a given test and for the testing event, the information needed is date, number of hours spent and the score of the airplane. So basically this is our ER diagram for the case study. We represent an entity by a rectangle. Oval represents our attribute and oval with an underlined attribute is the key attribute. For example, registration number is the key attribute of airplane. FAA test number is the key attribute of test. SSN is the key attribute of employee, SSN is the key attribute of technician, airport ID is the key attribute of airport and model number is the key attribute of model. Further, the double ovals are the multi-valued attributes, address and phone number are the multi-valued attributes of technician, the rhombus represents the relationship, the double line represents the total participation, each model will have one or more number of airplane models. Every airplane will have a model but it is not necessary that for every model there will be an airplane. So total participation is shown only on this side. Airplane is tested by a test. test. Tested by includes information such as date, number of hours and score. Technician is an expertise in one or more models. Models will necessarily be have a technician. So double participation is shown here. Technician works in an airport and the airport accommodates one or more number of airplane models. Airport has one or more number of tests. Employee includes traffic controllers and technicians. So this was the ER diagram for our case study. Thank you. I am Dimple and in this video, I'll be explaining the EER, that is Extended Entity Relationship of our project, Bain Airport Management System. And EER is the advanced version of ER, which is easier to understand as there is categorization of entities. Now. Moving to our ER diagram, here superclass employee is extended to technician and traffic controller and each of these entities have their own special attribute like this traffic controller has a medical exam date and the technician has type. These entities also inherit the attributes of employee along with the special attribute. So these are the common attributes of technician and traffic controllers too. D here means this joint constraint which means that the entity, traffic controller and technician can be a member of one subclass only. That is, technician cannot be a traffic controller and he has to hold one position only at a time. If it would have been an O here, it would mean that the traffic controller could also be a technician. That is, he can hold more than one position at a time, which means that in overlapping constraint, an entity can be a member of more than one subclass. U here means union, which basically here means subset, or we can say that technician and traffic controller subclass belongs to employee superclass, and model belongs to airplane. So, this was the EER diagram of our case study. Thank Hello, in this part of the video, we are going to see the schema for the database. But firstly, what's a schema? 
A schema is the logical representation of the database. So let's now see the schema for this database. Based on our ER diagram, we have seven tables in this schema. In each table, to represent the primary key, we have used P key in front of each primary key, while we have used F key in front of each foreign key. Let's now see all the seven tables. Our first table is Technician. It has seven attributes, namely SSN, Union Membership Number, Name, Type, Address, Phone Number, and Salary. The primary key for this, tab this Technician table is SSN, while it has a foreign key reference with Union Membership Number of Employee Table. Our next table is Model. In this, we have three attributes, Model Number, Capacity, and Width. It has a primary key model number. Our next table is airport. It has two attributes, name and airport ID. It has a primary key airport ID. Our next table is employee. In this, we have three attributes, SSN, union membership number and name. It has a primary key union membership number, but it has a foreign key reference with SSN of technician table. Our next table is test. It has four attributes, FAE test number, name, model number, maximum score. The primary key for this test table is FAE test number, while it has a foreign key reference with model number of model table. Our sixth table is airplane. It has three attributes, registration number, model number, airport ID. The primary key for this table is registration number, while it has two foreign keys. The first foreign key reference with the model number of model table, while the second foreign key reference with the airport ID of airport table. Our last table is traffic controllers. It has three attributes, SSN, name, medical exam date. It has a foreign key reference with SSN of technician table. That's all for this schema. Since we are through with the schema of our case study, let us now move on to the organization of data. So we have created a relational database where we will structure, query and manipulate our data. As per the schema, we have created the tables. For example, this is table model. Similarly, we have created table test, which is as follows. Then your table airport. Which looks like this then airplane here we have airplane employee so you can see this table employee over here then technician this is your table technician last but not the least we have traffic controllers This is your table called traffic controllers. Now let us move on to some of the queries that we have designed over here. So what if we want the unique union membership number from the table employee? So we'll be using this command select distinct union membership number from employee. It will give us the unique union membership number. You can see over here. What if we want all the details of the technician whose names end with A. So we'll be running the query, select asterisk from technician, your name like. So we're here we will have Harish Chandra, whose name has A and A at the end. Next query is, we want to know the salary of technician who is also a traffic controller. So select salary from technician, where SSN in, select SSN from, traffic controllers. So we'll be running this and see you can see the salary. What if we want to update the table employee and we want to set the name Alfred John where we have SSN equals to 1234. So we'll be updating the table employee and after that we will be displaying it. Cool. So here we will have this table and you can see where the SSN in is 1234 the name has been updated to Alfred John 
Now dropping the table airplane and creating a new table airplane and the only difference here is that primary key is being applied to registered number and the foreign key on model number and airport ID. So we'll be inserting the following values into it. We have inserted the following values and now we will be displaying the table airplane. So that was all for queries.